Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to use parametric analysis in grid resolution study. Grid resolution study is carried out to see if your solution changes with the further refinement in meshing or not. For this example, I have selected a really simple case. It is a 2D simulation in the form of L-shaped pipe. So a hot fluid is entering through the inlet from one side and it is leaving at the other side. And we want to see the pressure drop in this pipe at different refinement level of meshing. So whenever you are going to do 2D simulation, so carry out always in XY plane. So to select XY plane, go to here and select front plane and you will be in the XY plane. Select sketch mode and you have selected this XY plane. To sketch your geometry, select rectangle and define rectangle from center. Then bring your cursor at the center and move your cursor up or down and it will start a rectangle. So here you can enter dimension of your rectangle. So don't click, just enter your dimension through your keypad. So the diameter I want to use 10 millimeter, sorry, 10 millimeter, then press tab. Now you need to enter the length. So enter 40 millimeter, hit enter. Similarly draw another rectangle with 8 millimeter diameter and 40 millimeter height. Now draw the rectangle from this corner. So click on this corner. Uh, sorry, for this one we don't need from center. We want to start from this corner. So click on this corner. Your rectangle will start. So now you can see first you need to enter the length. So in this case enter 100 millimeter, press tab and the other dimension need to enter 10 millimeter and hit enter. For next rectangle start from here. So the distance between two grid point is one millimeter. So start from here and drag then enter the length 100 millimeter tab and the second dimension 8 millimeter. Now you have your sketch ready and we need to remove those extra lines. For that go to the trim tool and remove these extra lines. Let's make these corners round. For that you can use this tool, create round corner. So let's start from here. One millimeter seems too small, so let's use two millimeter. Then from two millimeter, start from here, click, bring to the other one, and you see this uh, square, so it means there is a contact between line. If uh, you don't see this one, then it means there is no contact. I will show you later. So you can move cursor here like that. So your diameter radius will keep on increasing. So we want to keep it for two millimeter. Hit enter. Then move next one from here. One millimeter, two millimeter. Start from here and two millimeter. One millimeter, two millimeter and start. Yeah, it did not remove this corner so that we can trim. Use this trim tool here, here. Now your sketch is ready. So click this one or you can directly press D. D is the shortcut key for to go from sketch to 3D view. So now you can see our geometry is ready but we need to separate these geometries. So as I said, this one, this surface is a pipe thick or the thickness of the wall. And at the center, this one is a fluid region. At the moment, we have only one surface. So we need, we need to make three separate zones. 
So bring on one of the edge and triple click and it will make a circle or it will select the closed surface or it will select the surface in closed loop. After that go to design and split body. And you can see it has created two surfaces. By default it has activated this one. It means if you want to remove any of the surface so you can if you click from here it will delete that surface. But we don't want that so undo and just we have two surfaces and click anywhere so it will remove that one. And to deactivate this split body tool so you have two options either hit escape or from right click and move your mouse upward direction so it will deselect that one. So now we have two surfaces this one and this one so we need, still need to split this one. Again just keep click three times for this one so it has selected this surface. So it means this surface is already a separate body separate surface and now if we split split this one so this surface will also get separated. So split body and we don't want to delete we want to keep all of these surface and so deactivate these two, these tools. Now we have separated all these surfaces. Now the next thing you want to do you want to make a shear topology. Here so in workbench use shear topology. This one is uh, wherever it is possible to have shared topology so make shared topology so it makes your life easier in term of interface so you don't need to take care of interface if you are you have shared topology so i will talk about this one in some other video so here you can see shared topology mean your interface so this one is the interface between fluid and solid and this one is the interface between fluid and solid it means it has uh, selected the correct interface. So click OK. Now it has created shared topology. So this blue line indicating this surface is being shared between these two cell zones. And red means these are not shared in any zone or these are separate surfaces. Now we can define boundary condition over here or we can do in the meshing. So let's do this in meshing. Close this one and let's go to the machine. I will stop here and we will continue with the rest of the portion in the next part of the video. Thank you.